Hi, this is Mike Queen from WinCNC, and I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to use Aspire to do a V carving for a sign. I'm going to use a 60 degree V bit to add a draft angle to my letters and my border on my sign, and I'm going to carve in as well as carve out. I'm starting out with a 15 by 8 inch piece of material, 3 quarter inches thick. I'm zeroing at the bottom but that really doesn't matter. Not on this one anyway because I'm not really setting it, I'm not really outputting this to cut on the machine. I may do that later but right now I'm not. I am setting a zero at the center of my material, which I normally would not do. I normally set in the lower left hand corner, but on this one I thought it would be easier for myself. And so I will click OK here. Next thing I want to show you, I have created several layers here, and I'm going to use them for different things. I have created a main, I've created an in, an out. A clean in and a clean out layer and I've already uh, did some vectors and objects on this main layer and I'm going to turn it on and show them to you this these two right here represent my edge my edge around my sign uh, the outside lines would be a 14 by 7 inch sign. The inside here is 13 by 6. And uh, what I've done is I have created the word in and the word out. And the word in will be carved inward. The word out will be carved outward. I've created the two with the, with the draw text and place them inside these boundaries, zeroed them, centered them up. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. The first thing I want to do is select these words in and out and I want to copy those to the in layer. The next thing I want to do is select this inside boundary and the word out and I want to copy that to the out layer. So I am going to turn my main off. I'm going to turn my in on. I'm going to make sure that that layer is selected. I close that. The next thing I need to do is select all of this and convert them from objects, which they are when you create them from the text button there. And I need to convert them to vectors. So I'll use this convert objects to curves and now you can see that it's a dotted line and therefore they're not objects anymore. So I will use my trim tool and the first thing I'm going to do is cut away anything that the letter O would cover up. Zoom in here and get this one. Zoom in and get this one. I think there's probably one right here. And now I have everything that that letter O would cover up. Now anything that uh, would not be inside the letter I, enclosed inside of it, I'm going to cut that away also. So cut this one away. This this line is is enclosed in the eye, so I don't want to bother it. I want to come back down here and get this line. This is outside the eye. This line's outside the eye. This line's out. This one and this one. So now I've created four shapes here out of my eye. Okay, now I want to do the same thing with the letter U. Anything that's covered up by the U, I want to cut it away. 
now I want to cut away anything that's outside of my letter N. I know that this line is. I know that this line is. And I think that took care of that one. Now I need to come over to letter T. This line's covered up. This line's covered up. So I need to cut that away. Cut that away. Let's see if I got everything. And I believe I did. So that's going to be my layer. That's going to be what I cut inward using a V bit and probably a quarter inch end mill for flat area coverage. So I can hit the F12 key and go over to my V carving tab. I'm going to use a 60 degree V bit and I'm going to carve this two tenths of an inch deep in this and I'm going to use not a half inch tool, I'm going to use an eighth inch end mill because this is a small area. Click OK and I will click calculate and level that out so we can see it. I will preview that toolpath. That looks pretty good and you can see the letters C and U and T there at least some of it. And you can also see where the where the V tool um, had to come in here and clean out where this eighth inch end mill couldn't get into. You'll see it here, probably see it in other places also. Here a little, there, probably a little there, and here and here too. You can see where the tool actually ended right there. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a clean out tool path which should come in here and clean a lot of this out. It can never get into these really sharp corners but it's going to get a lot closer than that eighth inch end mill would because I'm going to use a sixteenth inch end mill to do that clean up. So I want to go close back over to this tab and I want to do F11 and now I want to select I want to make this clean in my active layer I want to leave the the layer in on and I'll turn clean in on also so I've got that selected now I'm going to use a little tool, a little application that I created, which will allow me to offset for the draft angle created by the v-carving tool. So I need to know what angle my tool was, and it's 60 degrees, and my clearance tool diameter, which was a an eighth inch end mill, 0.125, and my cut depth, and my cut depth was 0.2 inches and I calculate that and that says that I need an offset of 0.115 to keep from cutting away that draft angle. It also says that uh, I'll need a tool of 0 0.0625 or smaller to to do my cleaning up. So 0.115 and 0 0.0625 or smaller. So I'll close that. I will do my offset. I'll click my offset and I will do 0.115 for my offset, my first offset. I'm doing them inward because I'm V carving these to the inside. And then I need a 0.0. 6, 2, I guess for my next one, and that's for the extra line which would allow for cleaning up. I'll do the offset. I will now close this, and now I'll show you what I was doing. Even though I worked from the end layer, 
I was everything that I generated came onto the clean in layer. So now I can turn the in layer off and I've got just these things here. So now I'm going to work with those. I'll close this. I will go over to my tool pathing layer, select a pocket, and I'm going to select a 1 16th inch end mill, 0 0.0625. Okay, I want to make sure that all of this is selected. And I want to calculate this. And you'll notice that it's only cutting the areas where there was excess, where the rough stuff was, where the uh, V carving tool uh, had to clean out because the uh, eighth inch end mill was too big. So if I turn that off, you can see that stuff. See this in here, over here, here. If I turn it on, you can see that those areas are getting cleaned out now. So I will preview that. Oh, I know what I did. One tenth, I need two tenths. My mistake. Calculate. And now I'll do it one more time. And preview. And now you see that they're cleaned out. Uh, you'll also see that I didn't damage my draft angle. You did I didn't damage the uh, the V carve any at all. It's still in, in the same shape that it was in. That's because that little application allowed me to offset that tool angle that far, or that tool path that far. So now I want to go over and back over to the F11. And I want to turn, I'm happy with that, so I'll turn that layer off. I want to select the out layer, turn it on, close, and I transferred these. Remember, I copied these over. So I'll select all of that. Come back over to F12. I will do a V carving. And this time, I'm going to use the same 60 degree V bit, but I'm only going to carve it a tenth of an inch deep. And I'm going to use a quarter inch end mill because this is a lot larger area to cut out and an eighth inch would take forever to cut it. And I'll OK. And I'm going to calculate that. And I'm, you can see these blue, dark blue areas. That's where that V-bit's got to come in there and do that cleanup. And that tiny little tip just leaves little scratch marks all over. And that's what we're working on cleaning up with that cleanup thing. So I will preview that toolpath. And if you look, I mean, it did a good job, but if you look, you can see where it left these rough areas here. And here, here, and here. So what we need is a way to clean those out. And that's what I've got with that little app that I wrote. So I'll go back over to this side. I am going back to my new... And now I need to come down to clean out. I mean, just select that, highlight that, make sure that that's the active layer. Turn it on. I'll close this. My everything selected that I need. But the next thing I need to do is bring this up and determine how far of an off, how big of an offset I've got. So this is a 60 degree, the same one. I'm using a quarter inch end mill here. My cut depth on this one is only 0.1. It's not 0.2 like it was. Click it. So now I've got a 0 0.058 for my first offset. And it's got to be an eighth inch or smaller for the cleanout tool. So I'll do the 0 0.058 first. And I'll go to my offset tool 
and I'll do 0 0.058 and I'm going to do it inward again and I'll do the offset and as I said that's to allow me to clear that draft angle that's created by that v-carve tool. Next I need a uh, tool or uh, another line that's uh, eighth inch or smaller so I'm going to go a little smaller I'm going to say 0.122 and I will click offset again and that just offsets that from the original one from the one that I just made I'll close there I'm going to turn off my out remember I had the out on but everything that I generated from there went to the clean out or the clean out one so I'll close that I will come over to my F12 again. I will close here and I will go to pocket again. I need an eighth inch end mill here because I'm using a bigger tool for a clean out. And I will control A to make sure that everything's selected. Drag it down a little and I need to only do one tenth of an inch deep and I will click calculate. Okay you can see now that the blue is covering up the areas that were left by the v-carve tool where it couldn't where the eighth inch end mill could not get into you can see that the 16th inch end mill is getting in there and doing those. It's also getting down here in these corners, all these little odd places where it left material because the tool was too big to get into. And I'm going to click Preview Visible Tool Path. And I'll turn it off first so that you can see that. You can see that it's going to work on those areas. And I'll Preview Visible Tool Path. And you can see that it cleaned all of them out. It did a pretty good job on them. Did away with all that. Never damaged the draft angles on, on these letters. If we roll that up on the side a little, you can see that the uh, that the angles are still sharp on the on the letters. Same around here on the T and that. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It it did leave a little right here on the U and that's because the uh, 16th inch tool couldn't get any closer than that but that would be very little clean up compared to what was there and that is my tutorial on this um, the little tool that I made was right there that allows me to create these things you notice that uh, it didn't use that little tool, that 16th inch tool, to just carve everywhere in there. It only created them where it absolutely needed to to carve out these rough areas created by the V carving tool. Um, that is the end of the video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, give me a yell, write something in the uh, comments below. Uh, you'll also notice here that the letter, the, the word in was carved inward and the word out was carved outward. Uh, that was pretty much explained in the video also. Uh, if you can think of anything else that you'd like to see me do, um, if I can do it, I'd be glad to do it, um, or at least give it a try. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. And I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.